it's bedtime in Norway on top of the world um, and I'm just out of the shower but I thought I'm going to read this poem it's for a friend of mine or actually my daughter's friend my daughter's joy friend their name is River and they also go by Jim Jam and as I was writing this poem I just felt like they would appreciate it so it's also for all my other non-binary friends out there it's called dresses while the Christians celebrate a king's birth in a manger, the most unsanitary place on earth, by decorating their colossal homes with flashing lights from bottom to dome, to outdo their neighbors, proving who has the most wealth, getting gadgets and trinkets that end up on the shelf, immortalizing greed cloaked as acts of love, being oblivious to their own gluttony as they push and shove down supermarket aisles, searching for the best deals, thinking the more they shop, the more they'll feel accepted by loved ones who receive their presence instead of focusing on just being present. They profess to follow a God of love and grace, but they can't love their own sons when they come out gay. After all, that is in God's way. They want them to be manly and shoot things with guns. After all, what boy doesn't think killing animals is fun? Sissy boys are too gentle. You can't be like that. I'd rather you be a wrestler, football player, or even fat. But whatever you do, hide your mental messes. We wouldn't want anyone to know our boy likes dresses. Dresses and those terrible skirts. So dangerous because they might get someone hurt. Like how? Perhaps hurting parental pride. But what about that pistol of which you hide? You'd rather your kid play with a weapon. It's less dangerous than a dress because it means he's your son. What if he doesn't really want one? Why do you care so much? Is it just a safe face and such? I dream of a future where all genders can wear whatever they want if they dare, and without it defining them. Why is it so scary not knowing if they are men or women? What are we afraid of? The equality in my brain? Why does it matter if we're all human beings? All right. Thank you for listening. If you'd like more of my poems, hop on over to my Patreon account and check them out there. And I appreciate you uh, supporting me there. It's patreon.com slash Kate underscore Ellen. Patrons make it possible for me to write poetry and uh, to take the time to do it. Thank you so much. It also helps put food on the table for my family and um, for the project I have my nonprofit in Kenya, which is all about diversity, culture, the arts, and the environment. So um, I appreciate all support that you can give.